Hello and welcome to the Nexus. We're looking at the Section 31 Nimrod class ship from Eagle Moss. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have the Nimrod class uh, from Discovery Season 2, Section 31, uh, from Eagle Moss. Um, yep, there are still bargains to be had. Like I said, I'm still I'm still gathering up the issues that I've uh, that I've missed and sort of filling in gaps. Um, and you can still pick them up at reasonable prices as well. Uh, I always sort of, I suppose I took Eagle Moss for granted. I always thought it was ever, always going to be there. So I was always planning on getting these, but um, yeah, I thought, why not um, get them now? Um, I did pick this one up for £15 on eBay. So they're quite reasonable. Some of the, some of the prices for the Eagle Moss ships have gone uh, a little bit crazy, to be fair. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I've picked up this one. So that's two ships now. I have for my section 31 there were five I do believe made so I'm just tr trying to fill out the gaps that I've missed but anyway let's get on and take a look so once again the magazine issue 28 this one if you're looking for what issue this is so we have sort of in-universe information and stuff like that in the first part of the magazine so how it goes on the stand uh, Nimrod class, like I said, uh, four ship nacelles, remote control drones in the hull, which we saw. Uh, also, this is the largest uh, Section 31 ship as well. We get a nice uh, top view here, back and front view. Uh, then we come on to planning the final battle. So this is uh, how they planned the final battle of Season 2. Uh, and then there's a preview of issue 29 there. Uh, nice little magazine. Uh, there's not a lot of in-universe in information on these ships because we've only ever seen them one. Uh, we might get more information when or if they do this Section 31 TV series. But anyway, let's take a look at the ship itself. So uh, there's the stand. And I'm really surprised I've got a really no, low number. You can see that. It's just really cool. And here it is, the ship itself. I've got to say, I'm quite impressed with this. So, it sits on the stand really well. Let me just pull it up. Um, so it sits in just like that, which is nice. But we've come to have a look at the ship itself, so let's have a look. So, we get some really nice, I love the camo patterning on this, the black and gray patch, which is really nice. Uh, a lot of Section 31 ships have these open sections, which I think started uh, on the uh, in the Kelvin universe on the uh, the Star Trek reboot TV uh, film series, I should say, where we had one with that into darkness, uh, and all these Section 31 ships have that design now, and obviously all these bits are drones, and you can, I think that's why it's got that patterning on it, which is really nice. You can see it's got some sort of coding on there, the bridge section and on the uh, side of the hull, so like um, NCC, but this is their code in here at the back. Then the cells and the impulse engines. Almost looks like this ship could separate, so this part could come away and then be left with, or uh, this little section could come out. So that's really cool. Uh, the blue nacelles, we do have like this blue light pipe through here, or light plastic like I say. You can actually see it there, which is really nice. And it's got like, you, you have the red and purple and the lights, they really do shine. Hang on, I've just hit the camera <laughs> trying to get that. You can see the, uh, the windows at the back here and underneath as well. And it's got red, purple, blue, and it really does make it shine i mean they're purple at the top there those lights there and the bridge and then we've got loads of little running lights as well do you sort of see how big it is the deflector dish is really nice as well it's sort of it is molded but hang on let me see if i can get a uh, light in there there we go so you can sort of see in there that there is a little tiny deflector dish in there which is cool 
But I, do you know what? I really like it. And yeah, it's going to sit really nice on my shelf for the Section 31 ships. But uh, so, let's go and put it on the shelf. Okay. So, uh, by the way, it's a wrestling move. <laughs> He's got him in a headlock. <laughs> um, I'm trying to find space. Now, I've sort of... I'm running out of space, but I have got a space just here for it to sit. And it looks really nice sat there. I am running out of space. I've got to have a rearrange, I think. So, yeah, looking really nice there. Uh, with the rest of my uh, little ship collection, I mean, I'm running out of room down here. Um, I would like it probably down there with that one eventually. Um, but all along here, as you can see, there is not a lot of room uh, left. <laughs> so I'm running out of room rapidly. I'm going to have to invest in some more shelves, I think. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Nice addition to the collection. Let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video.